horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early days of the western United States. His strength and courage were always on the side of right against might. No man could match his daring and resourcefulness, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young and the Lone Ranger was fighting the greatest battle of his entire career. At an isolated camp in the wild and barren region along the Rio Grande, a band of eight roughly dressed men were busily saddling their mounts. When they had finished, each man jumped to the saddle and urged his horse toward their leader, already mounted and waiting. This leader, a huge man with a bright shock of coarse red hair, had an air of grim resolution about him as he waited for his men to gather. Finally... Oh, Sid. And I'll tell you where we're going. Got some cows spotted over on the JW range to run off, ain't you? Yeah, hey. But that ain't where we're going this time. No? Beef can wait. If we ain't gonna have trouble, there's another job has to be took care of first. Yeah, what in that? Graham. You mean... We're riding to his place and getting that hombre. Well, I'd say it was just about time. Wondering how much longer we're going to let that gent meddle. Did the boss tell you we should? No. But gosh, if you ain't had orders from him... How I'll... can I when I ain't seen Stubb in over two weeks? Stubb have to bring you your orders all the time, Red? Can't you ever go straight to the boss yourself? You fool, you know I don't know who he is. Don't you? Honest? Think I've been lying to you? Well, well, I'll tell you. Kind of had a notion you was just saying that to keep us from asking too many questions. Well, you're lying. Oh, I up. weren't blaming you for it, Red. I, well, I figured it was just because you thought it was best. Nobody knows who the big boss is, except Stubb. Yeah, uh huh? If he's too doggone busy to worry about Grimm, then it's up to us to do something without waiting for orders. I don't hack a fool around to let poor cat get us jail just because the boss ain't got around to worrying about him yet. We can't take the chance. If they put up a fight at the ranch, let them have it. Right. But remember this. I want Graham alive. And let's go. Get up. Get up. Get up. At Graham's ranch house, Arizona Lawson paced the floor uneasily while Graham looked on. At length, with Arizona's pacing getting on the rancher's nerves, he spoke sharply. Arizona, stop it. Huh? Sit down for a while, can't you? You're driving me loco. Just the same, Graham. I'm worried. So you've said, and I've told you you're foolish. Yeah? Well, ain't Gunner dead? 
And ain't Turk Rigby and half his gang under arrest by a United States Marshal waiting to hang? They are. And ain't it us in town that sent them there? We did. And what makes you think the rest of them outlaws won't try to get even? You think they'll just stand by while we get them one by one without doing something to stop us? What are you afraid of? <laughs> Expect to see them come riding here? Well, why shouldn't they? What's to stop them? Right now, there ain't a man on the place, except in you and me. Well, they don't know that. How do you know they don't? What makes you so doggone sure? Well, I just feel that they And don't. if they didn't know it, what makes you so certain they wouldn't come anyhow? Ain't they done the same before when somebody stomped on their toes? We're too close to town. Ah. If they attack, the sheriff could be here with the posse inside 15 minutes. Sheriff. Posse. Talk sense. Since when did the sheriff or anybody else around these parts get up enough nerve to fight them crooks? Ain't that why you sent for the masked man and tunnel to help you? Well, ain't it? Well, uh... And ain't that why we had to tote Turk and the others clear over to the marshal's office? Because we couldn't trust the sheriff to guard him right? Yes, but now things are different. Different? How do you mean? Then these outlaws had everything their own way. Now we've shown the people around here they can be beaten. I have an idea you'll find they're getting their courage back. <laughs> if they have, I ain't seen nothing of them. Well, just the same, I... Hey, wait a minute. Who's that? Huh? You better look. Well, I'll be... Graham... If that ain't a tough-looking bunch of hombres, I never seen any. Who do you know it's got red hair sticking straight up like they was on wires? Red Kemp. The rustler? One of them crooks we've been after? It is. Arizona, get me that rifle. I'm going to... Well, uh, silly, don't you move. You beauty, the Lord. crim. Middle in our affairs, will you? Get back. Where are you? And take it. I'll get him. No! You murderers. You've killed him. If we did, it's what he had coming. He ain't dead, Red. Just creased him. Knocked him out. And take him along. You can take him with you. Yeah. Give me a hand with him, fella. Yeah. What, what do you want? You and your pards have been making things hot for us, Graham. What do you mean? Well, now it's our turn. Walk ahead of me, Graham. We're taking a little ride into the hills. <laughs> Several hours later, Tonto, the Lone Ranger's faithful Indian companion, arrived at the ranch house and read the sign that told of Red Kemp's successful visit. Mounting scout, he immediately headed for the hills along the Rio Grande. And that evening, on a rocky shelf where his work could be seen only by the occupants of a certain cave on the far side of the river, he built a glowing signal fire. He permitted the blaze to flame up for only a few brief minutes. Then, covering the fire with earth, he settled down to wait. An hour, two hours went by. Then, at first faint in the distance, he heard the approach of a single horseman. The hoofbeats came rapidly closer, and when at last the horseman reined up where Tonto stood, he was revealed as a padre, who had long been the masked man's friend. Oh, 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 there, oh, oh. Tonto, the masked man and I, we saw your signal. I came at once, amigo. Why have you sent for me? There is trouble, yes? Mm, there heap trouble. What is it? Me tell you, you tell Lone Ranger. See. Si. Then white friend, tell Tonto what do. You want the Lone Ranger's advice? Uh. Then tell me your problem. You shall have it. When Tonto had told the padre of the affair at the ranch house, the latter mounted again and disappeared into the night. His destination was a cave where the lone ranger, who had been seriously wounded, was recovering under the padre's care. The sun was rising in the east when once more the padre joined Tonto. Oh, 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 oh. I have spoken to the lone ranger, amigo, and he has told me what you must do. Mm, that good. You have said that you can follow the trail of these outlaws who have struck. Ah, uh, me follow it. And that is good. But you are alone, and they are many. You must not attack without help. How? Get help. The Lone Ranger says that you must ride to Spanish flats. There you will call upon the sheriff. Oh, him not help. Him pray. The Lone Ranger has thought of that also. Uh -huh. If you will follow the masked man's plan exactly, the sheriff will help you in spite of himself. And what me do? That I shall tell you, amigo. Listen. <laughs> Meantime, miles to the west, but also within the wilderness region along the Rio Grande, Red Kemp and his followers had established a camp that served them as a hideout between raids. There, Graham and Arizona Lawson, the latter with a bandage around his head where it had been cut with a bullet, 
were permitted to move around the camp at will, the outlaws realizing that their prisoners could not hope to escape afoot. Graham was depressed by his capture, but Arizona had not given up hope. I was a blind fool, Arizona. I should have listened to you when you tried to warn me. Ah, oh, shucks, Graham. There ain't no use crying over spilt milk. But look what's happened. Likely would have happened anyhow. Not sooner than later. I know, but just And we the ain't same. done for yet, are we? As long as they let us keep on living, we always got a chance. <laughs> what was that you said, Arizona? Spying on us, huh? <laughs> now, what would I want to do that for, huh? Shucks, I just happened to be coming back in the spring and heard a little of what you were saying. <laughs> Still figure there's hope for you, that right? You ain't always going to have everything your own way. Hey, what makes you think you got a chance? Because we still got friends. Yeah. One of them's a lone ranger, Randy. Well, uh... Shucks, <laughs> he's done for it, you know that. The way you're trying to run a bluff. Anyhow, there's Tonto. Sure. That's what I've been figuring on. Huh? I mean to get him, too. You think he's loco enough to let you get your hands on? You do, you're crazy. That redskin's smart. <laughs> Thinks a lot of his friends, though, don't he? What do you mean by that, Red? You fellas notice us taking any trouble to hide our trail coming here? You mean you didn't on purpose? Sure not. What's the engine going to do first thing after he finds out you fellas are gone? Well, he'll no doubt go out. It <laughs> needn't be afraid you give something away. I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> the engine's going to get in our trail. And he'll be able to follow her, too. Tonto can read sign better than any Apache. Uh -huh. Then he'll try to get you fellas free. But seeing as how that's just what we expect, we'll be waiting for him. Then we'll have the three of them. Why, you... Don't let him scare you, Graham. It's him that's forgot something. Have I? You have, Red. You forgot that Tonto can bring the law along with him. You forgot that he don't have to come here alone. <laughs> well, what's so funny about that? <laughs> Golly, that's a good one. Huh? <laughs> You tell him, Graham. Arizona, he means the law won't dare come here. But why... You know that, Arizona. It's the very thing we were discussing yesterday before these fellows showed up. These outlaws have been too well organized. Led by this man who's kept his identity so well hidden, they've punished everyone who's tried to get in their way. A sheriff may pretend to make an effort to put them down, but his efforts aren't serious and these men know it. No, Arizona, we can't look for any help from that direction. Then... You think these skunks have really got a chance to get Tonto? I'm very much afraid they have. Ah, uh, that dirty... You'd better hope we have a chance, Arizona. Huh? Because that's the only reason we've kept you two gents alive. If it had been possible for Red Kemp to be present in the office of the sheriff and Tonto called upon him... Red's confidence that the law would not attempt to molest him would have been amply justified. Injun, you mean to say you can lead us to Red's hideout? Uh, I'm that right. Here, map. Huh? What's that? It show how fine camp. Uh, you drew that up? Uh. uh. How do I know this ain't some kind of a trick? How do I know you ain't working with them crooks to get us over east there while your pards try another of their cattle raids over to the west? Me tell truth. Well, it can be proved easy enough. How that? Well, I'm going to send Mitch there out to check up. Hear that, Mitch? Uh-huh. I heard you. Mitch is a right good man at trailing. I'm going to give him your map. If he comes back and says you're right, I'll make up a posse and we'll go after them skunks. But if he says you ain't, well, it's likely to go hard with you. Me tell truth, all right. And if you have, come back tomorrow. Why wait? Gotta give Mitch time for the job, don't we? Go on, vamoose. I'd give you all the time I can for now. Like I said, you come back tomorrow. Uh, me go. Doggone it, Sheriff. What'd you mean by telling that redskin I knew how to read sign, huh? You think I want to get mixed up with them crooks? I don't savvy. Oh, the engine was telling it straight all right. I could see well, it. Well, then why'd you tell But me? tomorrow, you're going to bust in here and say the engine was dead wrong. You're going to say Red's gang's in the other direction. Why say anything? You want the engine to claim we wouldn't go after Red when we had the chance? Oh. Sir, I'm playing it smart. I'll ride out with a posse, all right. But I'm making doggone sure we ride where them outlaws ain't. <laughs> Thank you.
The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. At noon the following day, a large posse was forming in front of the sheriff's office. The sheriff, looking on, addressed his companion in a voice too low to be overheard by the others. Seen anything of that redskin yet, Mitch? Uh-uh. Well, maybe he won't show up after all. But you know what to say if he does, don't you? <laughs> sure. Well, see that you don't forget. We have to make this look good. Hey, what's that? Golly, it sounded to me like the engine. Yeah, there he is, just round on the feed store. Uh, this is sort of a dirty trick we're playing on him, Sheriff. Think I don't know what? Well, then why don't we just this once make a real try to You get... keep out of this. But we can... Ain't you seen what's happened to the others that made a real try for them crooks? How many of them are still living now? Uh, yeah, I know. Then let me handle this. I ain't doing it cause I like to. It's just a case of plain common sense. Uh-huh. Hi there, engine. Hi. Where you been? We thought you weren't coming. Oh, oh, Scout. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, come Oh, oh. Well, let me get here. And so wonder you had the nerve. Fellas, this is the redskin I was telling you about. Grab him. He's under arrest. Oh, oh. no. Well, what matter? As if you didn't know. Me not know. You was trying to trick us, that's what. Mitch went out and checked up just like I told him to do. That map you give him showed you trailed the Reds gang to the east, and Mitch found their trail going west. Mm, that's not right. Hold out your hands. What? What you do? Ah, that's what I'm doing, Injun. Now let's see you try to make a break for it with them cuffs on you. You will not go after Outlaw? Sure we are. And why you... But we ain't going to waste our time like you'd have us doing. We're going where we know they'll be. Ah, uh, you loco. Yeah? Well, we'll see how loco I am. You're coming along, and you're riding ahead of me. One move that looks funny, and I'll let you have it. I'll uh, me not try getaway. See that you don't. Ready, fellas? Then let's go. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Keep it a good watch, eh? Sure. Who, fella? Who there? No sign of the engine, eh? Nothing at all. <laughs> well, you can quit standing guard and go on back to the can. That engine ain't showing up. Huh? Pete didn't tell you when he rode by, eh? Tell me what? I sent Pete to Spanish Flats to keep a watch on things. The engine trail is all right. When he told the sheriff, the sheriff pretended he didn't believe him. Well, I'll be switched. <laughs> and better yet, he put the red skin under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Told the boys the sheriff was too scared to take any chances on meeting up with us, didn't they? Shucks, I said the same thing. Well, come on, then. Wait a second. Uh, I was just thinking. Only reason you wouldn't let us finish off Graham and Arizona was because you figured as long as they was alive, redskins come after them, didn't you? Uh, well, if the Redskin's been arrested, he can't come here. Sure, you're right. Hadn't we better take care of them two gents then? Maybe we had. I'll go. But you come on. We can decide what's best while we're riding back. Get up, fella. Yeah. Go on, get up. Get up. Get up. afternoon, the posse led by the sheriff rode steadily in a southwest direction with Tonto just ahead of the lawman. Mitch had been riding in the rear with the others, but suddenly he spurred his horse forward and drew up beside the sheriff. Get up, boy! Get up there! Get up, boy! Get up! Steady, fella, steady. Howdy, Mitch. Yeah. What do you want? I seen something. Huh? 
tell the engine to ride up ahead a little further so as we can talk. Uh, but what? Now, go on. This is important. Hey, engine. Uh, ride up ahead of us some more. We aim to do some talking you ain't to hear. Uh, but don't you go too far. I'll tell you when to stop. You follow orders. Can't do it. Get him up, Scout. That'll do. Hold it. Uh. Now, what's ailing you? Sheriff, we're on somebody's trail. <laughs> You just notice it? Well, I just... Yucks, we've been following this same trail for the past hour. I've been doing it a purpose. You have? Sure. We know Red and his men are in the other direction, don't we? Uh, yeah. Well, then it stands to reason this trail here we're following couldn't have been made by them, so we can't be heading for trouble. Oh. Likely was made by some mixed sheep herders one time or other. Oh, ain't it? Well, don't ask me. Told you I weren't no good at reading signs. Well, I figure it is. But it makes things look right. <laughs> Long as we're following some trail, it ain't our fault if it turns out to be the wrong one, is it? <laughs> How was we to know different till we traced it down? <laughs> Sheriff, I've got to hand it to you. <laughs> I never thought of that at all. Uh, then you get back with the rest of the boys and quit your worrying. Ain't necessary. Yeah. <clears throat> Back, fella. All right, Redskin, you can come closer now. Uh. And don't forget, I've got this here gun trained on you every foot of the way. Night has arrived. The outlaws had finished their evening meal about their several campfires. When finally Red rose to his feet and strolled slowly toward the two prisoners. Well, how do you two gents feel? What's it to you? I just wondered. Didn't want you feeling too good, because if you was, the news I got for you wouldn't sit so well. News? For us? Seen me and the boys talking things over before we had, didn't you? Yes. What were you skunks up to? <laughs> I uh, just figuring the best thing to do with you fellas. You said you were keeping us alive until you captured Tonto. Uh-huh. But all that's been changed. What do you mean, changed? Tonto can't get here. He's had a run-in with the law. You're making that up. Yeah. Well, it don't matter much whether you believe me or not. But he did. The sheriff's arrested him. What for? For telling the truth. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let it pass. What I've come to say is that that being the case and the scheme I had for getting Tonto can't work, I don't see any more reason for letting you, uh, you gents go on living. <laughs> you? You're going to finish us off? Uh-huh. That's what we decided on. Well, you dirty lord. Ah, there's nothing to get excited about. Nothing you can do to stop it. What's been decided, so that's the way it'll have to be. You'll pay for this, Red. I don't reckon I will. No? Well, just wait and see if you don't. Tonto will fix you somehow. He'll Shut get you. Hey, get moving. Hey, what are you, you doing? You took him. Where you're taking I us. told you. No, no, Red, you can't. Yeah. Wait now. No. And I say, shut up. I mean it, Graham. Well, maybe you'll believe me. Get moving. Uh, how are you going to do it, huh? <laughs> Ain't you the gents that sit out to see me and my parts, young? Well, ain't you? Oh, I wouldn't well, say Well, you that. did. So we're giving you what you were set to give us, if you could. You, you're going to hang us? Just right the first time. Oh, well, here they are, fellas. Who wants to donate a rope? Yeah, well, you get yours, Slim. I'll use that, uh, that tree there. Better take Graham first, huh? Come on, Red. You can't <laughs> do that to him. Reckon he'll give us the most fun. Then maybe Arizona will do a little hollering. But he sees we mean business. Right. <laughs> well, listen. Posse's. Oh, 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 get your guns ready. If that's a posse, we'll let him have it. At almost the same moment, the outlaws heard the approach of the posse. The lawman, topping a rise, stared down into a large hollow that contained the outlaws' campfires. The sheriff's astonishment was at first so great he could only stare. Then... Sheriff, that's Red's can. You hear me? You fool, you was following Red's trail all the time. Well, what'll we do? Maybe, maybe we can get away without their knowing we was near. 
with me. But how do we explain? How can we... Get him up, Scout! Get him up, brother! Hey, the engine! Hey, hold on there! Stop or I'll shoot! He's riding straight for the can. Doggone him! I'll bet he knew all the time I wouldn't drill him, even if we made a break for it. Now we can't back up. They're sure to know we're here. You're telling me we're in for it. Fellas, there's the crooks we're after. Come on, let's ride them down. Get up Sweeping down upon the startled outlaws, the posse rode with desperation and fought like so many wildcats. Tonto, in spite of the fact that he was handcuffed, rode straight for Red. And when the latter, in his haste, missed a point-blank shot, Tonto struck him down. The sheriff and Mitch, who had been unwilling to face the gang, led the posse into the thick of the battle and fought with the courage of brave men. If the numbers of the outlaws had been twice as great, they would have had to acknowledge defeat. Soon the air was loud with their shouts of surrender and... Don't shoot! We give up! Round them all up, fellas! Blast down any that won't give up! Hi there, Graham! Get up, fellas! Get up! Whoa, whoa, boy, whoa! Sheriff, I take everything back that I've ever said about you. I didn't think you'd have the nerve to come for us. It didn't, huh? <coughs> uh, I just wish the rest of the gangs that's been working together in these parts was here. I'd get them, too. Well, anyhow, you made a doggone good start. Uh-huh. And I'll... Uh, oh, uh, excuse me a second, huh? Why, sure. Uh, Don't oh, wait for me. Uh, me wait. Uh, come over here where it's kind of dark. Uh... What matter? I, uh, well, uh, first thing, I aim to take these cuffs off you. Uh, Tonto. Uh-huh. You tell me something. I've just begun to get my eyes open. Did you make that map point the wrong way, knowing on account of it, we'd go just opposite and find these crooks without even wanting to? <laughs> me not say. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> what you mean? Tonto, you keep still about the truth of this, and 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 I'll be your friend for the rest of my life. <laughs> Tonto, do it. <sighs> Tonto, you're all right. And now I'll tell you something. What that? You tricked me, Tonto, but doggone if I ain't glad you did. <laughs> The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.